Um, I did my door knock last, and as I was telling y'all, it was going to be fifteen dollars for the um, no contact, twenty five dollars if I made contact. Why they play me, y'all? But I mean, probably wouldn't want to answer the door either. And I'm sure my husband brought it to my attention. I'm probably not the first person that's come in and left a delinquent letter. And they had a ring doorbell, so they're watching me on camera. I'm watching the door, waiting on them. They watching me. I'm watching them through the door. They watching me through the door. We watching each other, and ain't nobody making no progress. So. I hey y'all shayla smart here and today i am doing some field inspections i'm out and about it is almost 11 30 a.m pacific standard time and i'm headed to my first field inspection of the day and it is for an online verification and it is on a part of town that i've probably only been to once in my life but um I'm gonna go, I'm gonna verify their ID and um, so they can get started working. And I'll let you know at the end of today how much I collected today in payments. This first inspection is gonna pay me $50 and it originally was $10. They added a $40 travel, which is called pad pay. Um, but I request, no, they added a $30 pad pay and i requested 40 dollars pad pay for a total of 50 dollars for this job so 10 for the job 40 for pad pay travel distance um urgency because it's towards the end of the month and they need it done so i'm gonna go meet this gentleman i called and scheduled it already scheduled it for same day and he's gonna meet me at a coffee shop um, most of the i9s are already set at a specific coffee shop located close to the client or wherever the client chooses you can change it if need be if it doesn't work for you but i'm happy to always go wherever they've already scheduled and he said he was available to meet me at 12 noon so it's about a 30 minute drive it's almost 11 30 so i'm gonna head out now and i will talk to you guys um when i'm done and this field inspection is all about great customer service and um i scheduled the appointment with him today i got i saw the job was available today um they had actually texted me this morning um because they text multiple all day long um and so they texted me this morning about this job being available and i text back to see if it was still available and negotiate my rate um always negotiate especially at the end of the month i posted about this in a facebook group um so i negotiated a rate and um number two it's all about customer service and number two i scheduled with him and i set a time which was for 12 noon but when i went into the system to confirm the appointment and you have to put in that you scheduled a time that you did make the attempt to call them and schedule um and what time it's going to be scheduled for if you have to call them back if you got a voicemail blah 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 and so when i went to put the appointment for 12 noon it was less than two hours from the actual time of the appointment which they say doesn't give the employee employee to be enough time which we had already agreed upon and he was fine with it because he actually has been waiting uh to start work since the 16th of may and today is the 23rd um so he cannot start working until we do this verification and so apparently they don't have enough people to do the verification etc cetera, etc cetera. so anyways he was super happy to get it set up and so, but I had to put 2 p.m. in the system and I messaged the company and said, hey, it's not letting me put 12 because it's less than two hours. I just wanted to let you guys know I'm still going for 12, but um, I put 2 p.m. in the system and they said, okay, no problem, we'll update it. Well, apparently the email they sent to confirm to him was the one that said 2 p.m. And so when I called him to let him know I was five minutes away, he was like, oh, I was confused. I got a message for 2 p.m. And I said, oh yeah, no problem. They um, were supposed to update it, but um, how far away are you from the location? And he says, oh, only three to four minutes, which is great. Normally these locations are scheduled for a convenient coffee shop close to them. So I'm gonna get out and take my picture and go ahead and go inside and get my iPad set up so I can already be logged into the system because it'd be giving me problems. Um, I even try to log in at home. It logs in fine on my laptop, which I didn't want to bring. I probably should have um but let's see if we can get this going on my ipad and get it done 
and um, I have another appointment at 2 p.m. today for a different company um, and that is going to be a um, progress inspection they're doing repairs construction or something on this house and so I'm going to go take pictures to see that they have progressed or how they have progressed and if they are doing whatever it is that they're supposed to be doing for the insurance company's uh, satisfaction so that is going to be next and that is on a completely different side of town it's literally by the airport or in the city that the airport is in here in Seattle so that's on a completely different side of town but between now and then i hope i get done here it shouldn't take more than 10 15 minutes at the most to do this um as long as i don't have any technical issues and then i have to give me something to eat my husband made me breakfast i didn't even get to eat it because i was busy confirming all of my appointments for today um yeah today's monday so um i try to load every as much as i can on monday um and um yeah so i have first appointment now i'm gonna go in and then we'll be on to appointment number two and i will see you guys when i get done hey y'all okay i'm leaving um it took longer than it should have because again i had technical issues with my ipad called uh the equifax um customer service because that's who processes the i9s for this client um and they were really no help I figured it out on my own. I had to use a different browser, although they keep saying use Chrome, use Chrome. Chrome was not working. Now, before I left home, I tested the site to log in because I had problems before on the first time I ever used it. Um, and it works on my laptop for me to log in with my password, but on the iPad, it wouldn't let me log in. So anyways, I ended up using Safari, worked no problem. I spent 20 minutes with customer service. And once I put the information in, verified their documents uploaded the picture of their documents it literally took five minutes if that to do the exact information because i've done these before so i know what to do but it was the tech that was the problem and the client is so understanding they're so nice always um so i appreciated that but yeah and the coffee shop was closed so we had to sit outside on the patio uh you probably can't see back there but it's okay it's a nice day luckily it's not raining you know seattle um, so yeah, I'm leaving now. I'm going to try to grab some lunch. I'm going to pick my husband up because he's going to subcontract with me on this next project. Um, time working with this, uh, doing a inspection for this, uh, new, uh, field inspection company. Um, and, um, this job is going to pay me $35 for this interior inspection. And I probably could have got more, but I didn't even think about to ask them again. It was my first one. So I usually try to do my first orders. Uh, for whatever price they're offering like when I first started working for trend source the first order I ever did was for ten dollars I would never do that again because why ten dollars is not enough to do anything um, when you have to leave your house to go meet with a person you have to get dressed look presentable they want you to dress professional y'all see my cute dress today um, so yeah I'm gonna go get my husband I'm gonna see if I have time to grab something to eat when I get back on my side of town um, and then I'll grab him and then we'll go to do this one out by the airport um, and he's gonna come with me because I have to get some roof photos and um, I'm just gonna use my tripod but he'll be able to get a better angle than me with the roof because um, he's taller and um, I'll let you guys know when I finish that so we're moving along a little frustrated about this tech issue that held me up forever I could have been done but nonetheless it was $50 and we're on to the next one almost $100 with two assignments so um, I'll see you guys when I get to the next location Hey y'all, I'm back. I have y'all propped up and apparently not very well. So I stopped to get lunch. Don't judge me for eating McDonald's. It wasn't my first pick, but it was the first thing I saw that I could eat while driving and then I decided not to eat while driving. Um, so change of plans. I'm gonna go, I have, um, I told you guys I had three, I feel like I have four. I had three client, um, inspections today and one of them is a door knock well i call it a door knock but it's a document verification so basically excuse me you um take this when you take the assignment you get a <clears throat> piece of paper that you're supposed to it has the client's name on it so that's why i'm holding it this way um but you put it in a secured envelope um and you put their name on it that is confidential and you get these type of envelopes and you um, tape it to their door if you cannot reach them 
this company has um, a particular set of instructions. So if I reach the client, I'm going to get, I think it's $15. If I, if I make contact, like literally am able to put this in their hand. If I'm not able to make contact, I'll get, I negotiated $25 because I think they wanted to give me 20, but I negotiated 25 on this one. Um, and this is a new company. This is um, the company I said I've never done anything for them before and I was going to do the one out by the airport first, but I had to stop and get food. So um, I'm, I'm going to go do that one. So I'll either get $15 for seven minutes away from my house or $25 if I make contact for going seven minutes away from my house, which I think is really good. If you could go seven minutes away from your house for $15, how many times a day would you do it? exactly um so i'm gonna go do that one after i eat and then i'm gonna loop back to my house seven minutes away from that client and um pick up my husband um because he was getting the kids food together and i've been talking about my kids like they're little they are whole teenagers but they are daddy's girls so he's gotta make them food and blah 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 and plus today's his day off he doesn't do too much gigging on monday tuesdays and wednesdays um those are my days I'm out and about so he's resting um but he's gonna get up and go with me to this house because I'm gonna be there by myself and like I said I have to get a roof picture so um I don't want to um it'll be easier and I have two phones so I can be he can take pictures and I can take pictures too if need be I got a spicy chicken sandwich I've never had their spicy chicken sandwich before I added cheese and I got some um, packs of mustard and there goes another company sending me a message now asking me or telling me that there's work somewhere but I think after I use two I'm done for the day I'm tired I really didn't sleep last night which is all my fault I took a nap a very long nap in the middle late part of the day yesterday so I didn't sleep well last night and then when it was time to get up I didn't want to get up because I'm not a morning person I was just starting to get into my cool of sleep anyway yes I did use sanitizer so I'm gonna eat my food then I'm gonna go try to make contact and deliver this letter and a lot of people don't like these types of inspections or the letter, whatever. But I did one last week and it was fine. The client was actually there, but it was for another company. So they just paid a flat rate. They didn't pay for contact. It was just what it was. I can't even remember how much I made. It might have been maybe $22 last week. $19, $22, $25, like that. I don't remember. I have to look it up. Um, but yeah, so far not bad. I like to do them earlier in the day. And you never know if they're going to be there or not. But I'm going to get it over with. And it's due today. So I could go today. And if I don't make contact, I could try again tomorrow, I guess. If I really want to push to get to $25. Since it's so close to the house. But it's due today and i just got it over the weekend so i'm just gonna go ahead and whatever attempt i can make and if i if i don't make contact i'm just gonna have to tape it to their door and i do have tape that i carry with me all my supplies i showed you my bag in another video i have more supplies now i have folders a clipboard tape extra security envelopes yeah so this is what's going on i'm gonna eat my lunch my uh business lunch that is now officially a tax write-off and i got my receipt um that i'm gonna keep because this cost me eight dollars and 69 cents So this will get filed with my other receipts and go um, when I do my books for the week, which I actually go over on Mondays and Fridays, kind of keep all businesses and all things in order. So yeah, 
And here is my spicy chicken sandwich. And I had them to add cheese. And I got mustard, but it's got the spicy sauce on it, so I guess I don't probably need the mustard. Plus, I don't want to make a mess on my dress because I am known to drop food on my clothes. It's just, it. So, let me start talking so I can eat and not make a mess. It's got a nice little buttery bun. Let's see how it tastes. Oh gosh. Get it together, Shayla. I mean, it's not all that. It'll do though. I'm hungry. It's it's more soft than crispy chicken, and the bread is kind of soft, like soggy. It's not wet, but it's like soft bread. But. All right, I'll be back when I get to the next destination. Hey, y'all. I done messed around and forgot I was vlogging. So, I had my McDonald's, I think last I saw you guys. Then I decided to change my plans again. I didn't go to the door knock first. I actually ended up doing that one last because it was further out than I thought. And it was uh, out by the interior inspe uh, interior inspection. The interior inspection had me sweating. It didn't take long at all. Um, maybe 15 minutes worth of pictures, but it was two stories, so I had to go up and down the stairs. And it was hot because there's nobody living in the house at the time. At this time, they're just working on it. So yeah, that took everything out of me. <laughs> Hubby just went in and uh, got me Starbucks. How sweet! He's getting in the car now. Um, I did my door knock. And so I was telling you guys for the door knock, it would be $15 if I, um, thank you. It would be $15. Oh, you got me cake? So sweet. See, you got me Starbucks. Y'all, I needed this. Mm. I don't need no strong savage. Mm. Mm. So good. So I think you guys are picked up on my Bluetooth. Let me just make sure I got everything. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So um, I did my door knock last. And as I was telling y'all, it was going to be $15 for the um, no contact. $25 if I made contact. Why they play me, y'all? But I mean, the door knocks are, are letters for default for delinquency in whatever, a car, a house, a mortgage, whatever. And this was one for mortgage. And so I guess I probably wouldn't want to answer the door either. And I'm sure my husband brought it to my attention. I'm probably not the first person that's come and left a delinquent letter. And they had a ring doorbell. So they're watching me on camera. I'm watching the door waiting on them. They watching me. I'm watching them through the door. They watching me through the door. We watching each other and ain't nobody making no progress. So I end up having to put the letter and just tape it to the door, which was part of the thing. It was okay. And as I came, cause they're in condos. So it was down. So I had to come up a couple of stairs, even though they're on the first floor. So as I come back up and get to the very top stair, it was only like four stairs, six maybe. Um, oof speed bump as i get to the top of the stairs i hear the door open and i hear the lady talking and then i hear them snatch the tape the letter off the door and i can hear the tape come off the door and so i turned around and looked and she was closing the door when i looked so that does i'm pretty sure i put it in my notes but i'm pretty sure that's not going to count as a contact um so no $25 for me. I'm only going to get 15 for that one, which is the risk you take. It's always a 50 50. And I mean, I'm not joyous about giving anybody a delinquent letter. I'm just doing my job as they say. Um, but because they were there, it was like, all they had to do was open the door, take it. And I could take a picture of the letter in their hands and confirm that I actually handed it to somebody, but they didn't want to open the door, which again, I understand. So I only get 15 for that one. Um, so that brings my total down today by $10, but that's okay. So I did $50 today. Gosh, I'm trying to think of my total. So 15, 50, 
and 35, which is 100, is that right? 15, 50, and 35. Yeah, I got 35 for the inspection, 50 for the I-9, and then 15 for the door knock. How much is that? 100. Okay. And so now I'm booked up for tomorrow. I've literally been working in the car. I think I, my husband was driving me around these last um, two inspections for the um, interior and the knock, uh, door knock. So I could actually schedule for my myself for tomorrow. So tomorrow I was scheduled to make $165, but I'm only gonna make $115 because my $50 one, when I called to confirm, it's another I-9. So I have, I was scheduled to do four I-9s tomorrow, but um, I'm gonna end up only doing three I-9s tomorrow because one of them, when I called and it was the highest paying when I had negotiated $50, um, they were offering 40 and I asked for 50, well it was actually $10 and they did 40 for the travel pay and I asked for 50 for travel pay. So, I mean, they were doing 30 for travel pay. I asked for 40 travel pay plus the $10 gave me 50. Um, but um, they said somebody had already come to their hotel and verified their documents. And again, these are all for the same major employer. Um, and so it takes 10, five or 10 minutes, but this one is further out um, than I normally go. And so I definitely wanted to get the travel pay. And even though I'm doing multiple of the same thing and two of them are at the same location, I still ask for individual pad pay for each one. So that's a note. Sorry for shaking y'all. Um, even though you're going to the same location, um, just like that one canceled for $50. So I would have said, oh, I'll take $50 for that one and I'll do the other two for $10. So I'll just get $70 total because I'm already going to the same place, same direction, same location. So I'll just do one with pet. No, 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 no. Always ask for them individually, treat them individually. Cause just like that one got canceled because he said it's already been completed. I had to go back and let them know that it's already been completed. They're gonna double check it. If not, then they'll bring it back to me. They just put it on hold in my um, under in my account. So if once they verify it's something's missing or it's not done and I still need to do it, great, no problem. I'll already be out there and I'll do it. But had I only asked for pad pay on that one, then I would be having to go way out in the middle of traffic, and it's terrible traffic going out that way um, for ten dollars each. So always ask for pad pay or additional pay for each individual assignment, even if you're going to the same location because you're still doing the same work. So I am home, y'all. Oh, I'm tired too. So um, that is the end of today's vlog of field inspecting with me. So I will see you guys in the next video. Comment below, let me know if you have any questions. If you haven't gotten my training on how to get started in field inspection, seven steps to getting started in field inspection and the companies that pay you, the link is below. Um, you can get it right now, it's still on special price. The price hasn't gone up yet, but it will because I got a lot of people interested. Um, if you are ready to get started doing field inspection, it is a audio course. You can listen to it while you drive, um, listen to it on your commute. It comes with a workbook PDF that you can download and it comes with three additional bonuses plus an extended list of companies that you can sign up for uh, to become a field inspector. So check that out, link is below and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something today and had fun hanging out with me doing these field inspections. And sorry, next time I do this, I'll kind of show you guys around and show you kind of what I'm doing. Today was just kind of the day. It is 5.44 and I've been going since 10, no, since 11.30 this morning. So not too bad. Um, and I ended up making $100 today. All right, see you later. Bye.